If you remember from last time, my question was basically, why do JWs need the publications in addition to the Bible? Why isn't the Bible enough on its own? And further, why is it specifically Watchtower's interpretation that's necessary other than some other group? They really don't answer the question though, do they? They give a long, drawn-out promotion of how Watchtower does things, but they don't say why the Bible is not enough. I really wanted them to honestly think about that, but also didn't want to push too hard at this point because it's a question I hope to bring up many more times in the future. It really comes back to who these leaders are and why they trust them so completely without question. I noticed how one woman also made a point of comparing what churches do to how Watchtower teaches everything by topic, picking out various isolated verses to try and defend what they're saying. But as I'm sure you've noticed from them and what I've shared here time and time again, if you read the verse in its own context, it often doesn't have anything to do with the novel teaching that they're trying to promote. So. What they're really doing is twisting scripture, just like Satan tried to do with Jesus. Regarding how churches teach, well, that varies from church to church. So broad brushing that doesn't accomplish anything other than to reinforce their us versus them dichotomy. Solid Bible teaching churches do what is called expository preaching, going through the Bible verse by verse, book by book, so that the context is never missed. This is exegesis, as I've mentioned before. It's not about reading an interpretation into the text, which is called eisegesis, but instead bringing out and showcasing what the author intended. Yes, I absolutely have been to churches where they take isolated scriptures and give their own novel interpretations of them. I have also been to churches that present mainly entertaining stories as analogies for whatever verse they've picked instead of really digging into the scripture. I'm sure we've seen that from big false name teachers like Joel Osteen, Bill Johnson, or Benny Hinn, but JWs really don't seem to have any clue what solid Bible teaching churches even look like. They seem to prefer just using Watchtower's broad brush and never honestly look at how things truly are in the world. We really hope to dismantle that some if we can. If you just read the Bible by itself, would you come to believe what you believe in your religion? Like, um, and you said no. no. I mean, yeah. Um, so my question then was, um, why is the extra information, um, the publications required in addition to the Bible? So it's basically a tool to help us to understand what the scriptures are saying. For example, many people have an understanding, um, an understanding of um, the Bible. You know, when people die, where they go, and so forth. And, and you know, God is a tree. But this publication clarifies misconceptions about the Bible and helps us to, to reason on the Bible and to, mm. to look to the Bible and, and see the cross references and get a fuller understanding of this message. So, like I was saying, you know, God's using the faithful and discreet slave, which we'll get into, mm -hmm. to guide his people. And, and, you know, the faithful and discreet slave is basically, you know, covered through the whole earth. So in every, wherever you go, for example, if you go to Africa, you can go to Japan, mm -hmm. you would go to a kingdom hall and get the same, mm -hmm. you know, we would mm -hmm. be studying the same literature, and it's all Bible-based. Okay. Um, if you have to add to that. Yeah. So you know that how we are taught, right? Yeah. Uh, through our publication, um, they go by topics. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's the uh, teaching method Jesus used to mm -hmm. go by topics. But the other church, I went a different one, but they just pick a you know scripture and then read and then they are mm, um, maybe the any thought or explanation from their thought, you know, mm -hmm. their 
kind of interpretation, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, our publication go by topic, so the scripture they pick from here and there that related to the topic. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. so that way we easily understand where in the Bible we can find so this question or that question, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to add to that too, God is a God of harmony or uh, of order and also of unity. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, all the literature we're learning is actually coming from the head of the Christian congregation, which is Jesus, who is guiding the Christian organization. And spiritual truths that we're learning is coming from through Jesus. And, and this mm, is interesting. Yeah. And then so, for instance, this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you about it? Yeah, it went. <laughs> <laughs> See, so the, all the topics, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you click, there's an article show up, and then you can look up your own Bible, you know? So that's the way we are. Mm. Okay. So would you say then that the, the Bible is too difficult to understand on its own then? It's not that it's too difficult, but it's it is hard to understand. Okay, like for example, you, you know, what what is your understanding of the kingdom of God, for example? Just 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 out of curiosity, mm -hmm. like you you know, if you ask. A group of people from all denominations even you know if you ask two from one one of like the same mm -hmm. you'll often get different answers this is another deflection so she doesn't have to answer my question but I took the bait because I wanted to try and show how Christians can have varied views on secondary doctrines and still be in unity in Christ contrary to what they're taught about us I also wanted them to understand that Christians do talk about the kingdom often and take the subject very seriously because we are in that kingdom, as John 3.3 3 tells us. JW seemed to think that they're the only ones talking about the kingdom, so I wanted to try and shoot that down if I could. I'm not sure how well I did that here, but I did my best and I hope and pray it gave them something to think about. Yeah, and I think there's probably different, um, I mean, that's such a huge thing that there probably are some different w angles that you could look at that from. So, I mean, obviously Jesus is the king, right? Mm -hmm. right. Um, and so the kingdom is his people. Yeah. He is the king of his people. Because that's what we would say, like, you know, our Canada, our prime minister is a prime minister of the Canadian people, right? So Jesus is the king of his kingdom, which is his people. And that's all over the earth. So it's like a government. Yeah, I think, I mean, government is like sort of an earthly way to look at it. But I think when you look at, you know, the sovereignty and that Jesus created all that, you know, that that's way beyond what like an earthly government would look like, right? So oh, he's, I mean, that's you know, ruling from heaven. He's yeah, a king, yeah. yeah. So yeah. all kings, all leaders fall underneath him. They're not even, they don't compare to him at all, really. So. Right. And, and so this yeah. book too, uh, mm -hmm. that's, um, we're going to learn about the God's kingdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So that's one topic. Yeah. Sure. God's yeah. Kingdom. That's an important one. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. 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 And then also, you know, the, the Bible has actually has a theme. theme. So mm -hmm. each book, somebody writes, you know, some kind of theme, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, you know, the, you, you have to know the Bible theme. Mm -hmm. So all the different books, you know, that kind of thread together mm -hmm. to point to the that theme, right? Yeah. So is there an overarching? What do you see as the overarching theme of the scriptures? Yeah. What the is, overall. Yeah. What, theme. Is, what is the theme? Mm -hmm. right. So you know, <laughs> the vindication um, of Jehovah's sovereignty, and then. Um, sanctification of Jehovah's name by means of God's kingdom. I so wish I had jumped in here to ask what she means by the vindication of Jehovah's sovereignty. I've heard them throw around phrases like that a lot. 
but I wonder if they really even know what it means. If you are an XJW, I would love to read your experiences with this. How would you have answered that question, what do you mean by that, when you were a JW? One of them will further talk about God's sovereignty being challenged. By whom? And what is the significance of a created being challenging the almighty, all-powerful creator of the universe? I've heard them talk like God and Satan are like equal forces battling it out. Is this what she's subtly trying to suggest here? Or am I reading too much into it? So, so just you, this is why having a Bible study will go into depth mm. of all these very important questions mm. because, and, and all the, this will all be answered. Mm. But it goes back to the beginning of human being on this earth. Mm -hmm. God's sovereignty was challenged, mm -hmm. and so right now we're living under that challenge, you know, of God's sovereignty. Y you know, it was lied and slandered. So, so, so this is how this book is. It's very orderly, and it will help us to, you know, take in God's word and grasp the meaning of the message of the Bible. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so this is kind of helping us to understand the message mm. of the Bible. And, and that's good. You know, mm -hmm. you know, have, have yeah. questions and, yeah. and read the scriptures and just yeah. any questions you have mm. coming along, just yeah. please, you know, that, that's what we encourage you to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, um, so, so do you want to read the next uh, Next one? Yeah. Number two, three, okay. go go three. But the Bible can guide us. Okay. Yeah. So deep, deep. The Bible is like a powerful light. We can see the Bible to show us how to make good decisions and to help us see what lies ahead. Still? Uh, sure. So we'll read a, Psalms 119, 105. And then we'll ask these questions here. Um, you both can be nineteen. So verse one oh five says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Mm -hmm. That's what mine says too. <laughs> okay, yeah, you were like, same. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, even, actually I had a good illustration yesterday of this. Um, this was, uh, you know, we live in times where we see lots more natural disasters and so forth. And often when there's, you know, we know maybe there's a power outage, we often, yeah. we look for our, our lamp. Mm -hmm. Or, our, sorry, mm -hmm. our flashlight. Right? Yeah. And so, you know, God's word, we're living in stormy times, and God's word can be, you know, like a flashlight to just what we're going through, but also a light to the, the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Um, so, okay, so. Oh. Yeah, so, so, so two way this, you know, that flashlight mm -hmm. use. So one is a, our foot close to us, right? Mm -hmm. So that indicate or uh, refer to what? Right? Our case? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, so light shine oh, on close to us. Oh, okay. close to right. us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, refer to what? It's like the if we're if we're walking light. in a dark place mm -hmm. and just the like pop. Mm -hmm. The, the flashlight close to our foot. Lanta. Shows us where to step. Shows yeah. us where to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. To go. So that's, you know, explain, you know, the how mm -hmm. apply, apply this. Right, the Bible. Yeah. So that means daily living problems, we need advice. So we use the Bible as a lamp. Mm -hmm. Right. Close to our life. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the, Shine, shine, shine. Light. Yeah. It's, it's the show is how the the 
where the safest way to go. Mm -hmm. Like a picture shows in the darkness, mm -hmm. you know, which way to go yeah. without bumping each other or right. whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So that shows Bible tells us our future. So yeah. two ways. Yeah. Okay. So immediate and long term. Right. Sure. So, so how did the uh, writer of this psalm view the Bible? <laughs> well, as a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. <laughs> exactly. That's pretty simple. <laughs> exactly. So he looked to God's word as his source of direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, this is so kindergarten level stuff. They're saying the Bible is a compass or a guidebook, but there doesn't ever seem to be any real connection with who God is, who Jesus is, what he has accomplished to save wicked lost sinners from their sins, what it is to know forgiveness and reconciliation, how the Holy Spirit sanctifies all who are justified by the work of Christ, or what it is to be born of the Spirit. It's just a map they feel they can use to have a happy life. And, of course, it's not even using the Bible as that, but instead the Watchtower's interpretation of the Bible. I was also again reminded of how they set up their questions in their studies to outright give you the answer, and then give you the question, so that it's mindlessly simple to answer. And how do you view the Bible? Obviously, it's God's Word. I mean, um, yeah, who gives us the answers to our questions like about sin yeah, and death and mm -hmm. um, how to be re made right with Him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, can we say Bible is our guidebook? Uh, guidebook. Yeah, I, I'd say that it that's a, a part of it. I think it's much more than that, but it, it certainly does do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, some other people say map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the life is uh, very uncertain, right? So, like uh, when we go um, somewhere unknown, and then what help you, right, mm -hmm. to get safe and then enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people usually go guidebook. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. And all, all of us need it. We all, we were all created mm -hmm. by the Creator, and He wants us to have direction, and mm -hmm. a relationship with Him, and mm -hmm. this is His means for that. So I'm just gonna play this video of, um, it's a one minute and 48 seconds, and um, it shows. Uh, this video is a little video of how one lady, oh, where did I go? The here? teacher, one yeah, teacher. Yeah, how she, uh, how she found that the Bible can answer questions. I'm not going to play it too loud. <laughs> and here we get another emotionally charged video about how this woman found all the answers to her questions about life and suffering through Jehovah's Witnesses. Honestly, this all sounds very odd to us as outsiders who know the God of the Bible. Is this how the average adult convert to Watchtower really feels? I guess maybe it is, but it really shocks me sometimes, to be honest. I wanted to be a teacher. It was very gratifying. But yet, there was something that was empty in my life. I would see children that were disabled, not because they had done anything wrong, they were just born that way. And I thought to myself, that doesn't make sense to me. God is a God of love. I know God could fix all these things. Why hasn't he? And then, it was a child in my school that successfully got me the answers to my questions. She 
one of the questions that really troubled um, this school teacher. Did you notice something that really stood out to her? Or she wanted so to So it's about the, the girl in the wheelchair? Yeah, yeah. Like suffering. You know, it's like, why is this little child, you know, that has this lot in life? It's sad, you know, it's mm-hmm. disease, children suffer, anybody suffering. It's, mm. you know, she said, God is love. Mm-hmm. Why so much? Mm-hmm. Love. Mm-hmm. So that's the. Well, it's interesting yeah. though because she already assumed God was love. Yeah. Without yeah. even knowing what, who God was. Right. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you, you can assume something in the sense of is He only love? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like just who God is, right? So yeah. She had already had a, uh, a pre a, a preconceived idea of what she thought God who God was. Right. Yes. And so why is this? Mm-hmm. You know. You know, right. what else should I know about this? Like, why, yeah. why is mm-hmm. God allowed for this? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, she had these genuine questions. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. like Jesus said, keep on asking and we'll, we'll have the answers. Keep on seeking and, and we'll be answered. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we're encouraged to keep asking. And I commend you both for doing that because, mm-hmm. you know, you're, you, you want to find out. I've noticed that she often says things like this, assuming that we have come to them for answers to life questions that we really want to know. We've never said this, but she keeps suggesting it. I'm not sure if this is just the standard way JWs conduct these studies or if she really believes we have come to her for answers that we don't have. And we do ask lots of questions, but that's because we want to know what they believe and why they believe it not so that we can find the truth. We already know Jesus, and he has clearly said that he is the truth. I love my friend's response coming up to what she's talking about here. I think she did a great job of pointing to who God really is, and that we already know that. I also find it interesting that this woman then goes on to use the word satisfying again. Now, I did see that in the material, but it seems to be a word that she likes to grab onto as if it's going to convince us of something answers some important questions in life. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people think they have the answers. Right. Yeah. Right? right? Or they think they know who God is. Right. And I know many people, well, God is only love. Right. Where then, because of that, they, they formed a God that, in their understanding, outside of Scripture, what Scripture says is not the God of the Bible. Yeah. Right. Because again, I mean, God's not just love. God's more than just love, right? His attributes. So yeah. it's good to know that people know who, what who God actually is, as opposed to one they make up that they assume what, who they want Him to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's actually very satisfying to, to learn the answers to these questions mm-hmm. because we'll see. The more we get into this, we'll see like why these horrible things are actually happening and. You know what God will do about it, mm-hmm. and, and is doing about it in the meantime, mm-hmm. and has already done right. by means of Jesus. So, so, so it's uh, another yeah. Yeah, another. <laughs> it's another. Yeah, it's another. It's another. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go on to the next. Um, so how can enjoy? Sorry, you can enjoy reading the Bible. So uh, 
reading the Bible, especially for a lot of younger people, it's reading so much is, you know, we live in a world where it's just yeah. go, 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 mm -hmm. press, go, go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know? that's true. Yeah. And so reading can be very difficult for young ones, but you'll see from even young ones how, you know, reading the Bible is benefiting mm -hmm. sure. all walks of life. So, um, Oh, here we go again. So I, I, I downloaded sure. that. Okay. Sure. We'll just tablets are tablets are finicky, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. And see, I downloaded it, um, but it's just audio. You can't oh. see the picture. Oh. So yeah. otherwise, I would show it on my screen. Right. But you'll just see this one picture the whole time. <laughs> For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction, so that through the perseverance and the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. Yeah. Do you want to read the? Oh, I see. <laughs> for all the things that were written beforehand were written for our instruction, so that the through our endurance and the through the comfort from the scriptures we might have hope. Okay, so so does the Bible's promise of comfort and hope interest you? I know she's just reading the last question in that section there, which she's supposed to do, but do you think she might already know what our answer is to that? We'll pick up right here next time. <laughs> 